Hello, I'm Mimi G of MimiGStyle.com, a fashion, lifestyle, and DIY blog where I teach you how to buy it, make it, mix it, and rock it. When the Oxygen Network's The Face asked if I'd be interested in doing a collaboration post on a menswear-inspired look, I was in. So, I got my crisp white shirt, went into my husband's closet to look for a tie, and all I could find were these big, fat ties. Now, fat ties were cool ones, right? But now, the new thing are the cool modern skinny ties. So I thought, well, I could go buy a skinny tie, or I could just refashion this fat tie into a skinny tie, and I did. And now I'm gonna show you how to do the same. Now you don't need any real sewing skill, um, and you don't need a sewing machine. You just need uh, some coordinating thread and a hand needle. And then you're going to need some scissors so that you can cut the threading open. Uh, a ruler if you don't have a skinny tie to use as a template um, and then either a pen, pencil, chalk marker, whatever and if you have a pressing cloth, great. If not, you can use a piece of cotton, a piece of fabric, really anything so that you don't put direct heat onto your tie. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is grab your small scissors and we're going to snip the threads of the label and then we'll just sew it back on after we're done. Make sure not to cut your silk. And now you're just going to cut the threads and then pull them until we get to the skinny part of our tie. Now there's a reason why I'm not cutting the thread and instead just pulling it. When you get to the skinny portion of your tie, you're going to take your needle and you're going to re-thread this. And you're just going to make a little knot because you don't want the rest of your tie to come undone. So using that same thread, just go back in, grab just a couple of threads, and you're going to make a little knot. Do that one more time. And then clip your thread. Now when you open the tie, you're going to see the tie form. This is the tie form. And so we're going to remove it. And if you have a skinny tie already that you want to use it as a template, you can just lay it over the top like this. And then using a pencil or a pen, you would just outline the skinny tie. And then you're just going to go until you get to nothing. And then we're just going to cut around that. If you don't already have a tie, a skinny tie, you can measure uh, about two inches across the bottom, like that. And then you can use your ruler and trim this until you get to nothing. So once you have it marked, you're just going to cut, making sure you don't cut anything else except this tie form. And just follow your guide. You should make your markings a lot more precise than I did. Now we're going to trim our tie, but before we do that, you're going to press over until you get to the form, the tie form, you can feel it, and you're going to give it a new press, so you can see the original crease here. Now you don't want to apply direct heat onto your tie, so you want to use some kind of cloth or um, lightweight t-shirt and you're just going to press a little bit at a time you're going to adjust until you feel the form I'm going to continue without the cloth so you guys can see me, but you should use a cloth.
Now it's nice and pressed up against my new tie form. And now that I have it pressed, I can go ahead and cut off some excess. So you're going to cut basically to where the end of your other side of the tie form is. You're cutting off just over a half an inch, depending on how wide your tie is. And you're going to cut until you get to nothing. After you do that, you're going to go ahead and slip your tie form back inside the tie. Now we're going to press out the other side. You're going to fold and then fold over again. You want to try and get that fold in the center as best as you can. Give it a press. You can feel the form on the other side. Once you have it in place, you can use some pins. Let me go grab a pin or two. I should have some here. Now you don't want to pin towards the front, so you want to make sure that you don't catch the front of that tie. You only want this to help you. So you're just going to grab a little bit of the tie and the fold, and then you're going to thread your needle. Okay, so I have one pin here, and I have threaded my needle and you're just going to sew starting on the inside. What you want to do is you want to catch just a little bit of both the bottom, including the tie form, and just a hair or two on the top. You don't want to catch any of the fabric on the right side. So you're just going to take tiny little bites. And the sewing is easy to hide underneath the fold in case you're just not very good at it. You're going to continue all the way up until you reach the little part that we knotted off. After you're done sewing your tie back together, we need to reattach our label. So, now the label is going to be too big because we've made the tie much smaller. So, you just can fold over your uh, edges a little bit more and press them down to make the tag a little smaller. You're going to make just a couple of stitches along your label and then going underneath it, only grabbing the top layer of your tie, you're just going to go through it once, through it again, make a little knot, re-knot it. And then going underneath again towards the bottom of the label, you're just going to do two little catch stitches on each side. Cut off any loose threads, and you now have a more modern skinny tie. I hope you've enjoyed this quick and easy refashion, and don't forget to watch The Face Wednesdays at 8, 7 central, only on Oxygen.